Developing in downtown Houston, new concerns about safety on public transit after another deadly stabbing on board a Metro Rail train last night. It happened on Rusk Street near San Jacinto. KPRC 2's Taisha Walker live near Rusk stop at Rusk Rail stop. Taisha, this is the second stabbing on the Metro Rail in less than a month. It is Keith and Metro Police tell us that witnesses saw that the altercation had started between those two passengers on a platform and escalated on an actual train. We know that this is the second incident in about a month and Metro Police telling us both of those are isolated and shouldn't cause a widespread fear of concern. Metro is increasing its police presence along rail routes downtown. Monday night, an argument that started on a train platform between two men gained momentum and came to a tragic halt on the actual train at the Rusk and Fannin stop. One hat was swinging at the other person with the screwdriver and the other had the knife. The identity of the man who died from multiple stab wounds has not been released. A grand jury will decide whether the 60 year old man with the knife will face charges. Less than a month ago, a woman died after being stabbed on the Purple Line. Christopher Wallace, seen on the rail surveillance video, is facing murder charges. I really don't feel safe on the rail. KPRC2 investigates crunched the numbers and discovered 1,204 assaults and one murder between January of 2019 to August of this year. Chief Vera Bumpers with the Metro Police Department. I believe it's low because you have to look at each individual case. Because just because it says assault, somebody can say something and that may be considered uh, a class C assault. The chief says though the two deaths are isolated, Metro riders can expect to see more police presence. We did that after the incident in October, uh, but we are even making um, more efforts to increase that. And the identity of the man who died from his stab wounds last night has not yet been released. Reporting live from downtown, Taisha Walker, KPRC 2 News.